The new TV series Gotham Knights set to release March of 2023 by the CW brings in the next generation of heroes to Gotham. Today in this video, we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into these new knights, the storyline, all of the enemies, and basically everything that we can figure out from the credits and the trailer. We're also going to be comparing the TV show with the Gotham Knights video game, which was released back in October of 2022 by WB Montreal, and comparing the four knights from the show and the game, the storylines, see what they have in common, see what is different. But let me know in the comments if you are excited about this new upcoming TV series by CW set for March of 2023. Now, the CW is certainly no stranger to the DC Universe and TV series. We have the Arrow, Black Lightning, Flash, Supergirl, Superman and Lois, Stargirl, Batwoman, I mean, just to name a few. They've certainly had Quite a few that I've felt have been pretty good and some of them obviously not so good. But either way, let me know in the comments how well do you think this will do? Are you excited about it? Now, before we take a closer look at each of these new knights or comparing it to the Gotham Knights video game, let's talk about the storyline real quick. Now, in the CW series, Batman is dead and three misfit teens and Batman's own adopted son are framed for Batman's murder. Now, before these knights rise to their newfound glory and becoming the superheroes that they are, they have to figure out who killed Batman and why are they being framed for Batman's murder. Now, there's quite a few interesting characters and enemies listed, not only in the credits, but in the trailer. Now, in the CW series, Harvey Dent, which I'm not sure is the district attorney or the commissioner in the comics, he's the district attorney, but he seems to be the main antagonist in this. And over on the game side of things, Batman is also dead, Jim Gordon is also gone, and the four new knights have to step up and figure out the mystery behind it all. Now, we do later figure out that Ra's al Ghul does kill Batman in the game, and the four knights in the game actually are not ever suspected of doing anything to Batman, but they are not liked by the GCPD. And all throughout the entire game, you're kind of an enemy through the state as well. Now, these four heroes are certainly a lot more known in the DC universe. We have Nightwing, we have Robin, we have Batgirl, and we have Red Hood, which I think pretty much everybody in the DC universe knows. But the ones in the CW TV series are certainly not quite as known. Now, the first of these new misfit heroes that we're gonna talk about today is gonna be Duella Dent. Duella first appeared in the Batman comics in 1976, claiming that she was Joker's daughter. She also claimed to be Catwoman's daughter, Riddler's daughter, Penguin's daughter, Scarecrow's daughter, so she's held quite a few identities, but it was later determined that she was actually the daughter of Harvey Dent, Two-Face, which kind of fits the CW's storyline considering Harvey Dent looks and appears to be probably one of the biggest enemies and maybe behind the whole thing on who killed Batman. Now, she also wanted to join at some point the Teen Titans, which is kind of interesting. She later changed her identity to Harley Quinn, which is not the same Harley Quinn that we know in the Gotham Knights video game. It will certainly be interesting to see how many of these identities that are known in the comics, how many of them are gonna pop up in the show. Now, the next new knight that we're gonna look at is gonna be Harper Rowe. Now, Harper Rowe also goes by the alias of Bluebird is an ally to Batman. And interesting enough, Marcus Rowe, who is the father of both Harper and Cullen, which we'll get to here in a second, Marcus Rowe is a villain to Batman. Now, kind of the same as Duella Dent, where her parents Two-Face Harvey Dent is also an enemy of Batman. Now, Harper Rowe in the comics had some run-ins with the Court of Owls, which is interesting because in the CW series, we also know that the Court of Owls is also in there. Now we're gonna take a look at Harper's brother, Colin Rowe. Now in the comics, Colin Rowe really doesn't fit that superhero persona, but what it does say is that Colin Rowe is gay, and in the comics, he kinda has a thing for Tim Drake. Now that is 
a little interesting because the Gotham Knights video game Robin is Tim Drake. Now it seems that he was bullied quite frequently in school and was pretty much always protected by his sister Harper. So it'd be interesting, it's gonna be interesting to see in the TV series how much of Colin, you know, develops into that superhero mantra. Now the previous three new knights are all considered misfits and they're all the sons or daughters of villains of Bruce Wayne. Now the final one of these new knights is going to be Turner Hayes which is the adopted son of Bruce Wayne. Now, this is a complete 100% made up character by the CW to fit, I guess, with this storyline. So it will kind of be interesting, at least to me, to see how, you know, a rich, well-off uh, kid, you know, the son or at least adopted son of Bruce Wayne fits in with these three misfits. Now, while these four knights are being transported to what I could only assume maybe be Black Gate or something, they attempt to escape. Now, who helps them aid in this escape is going to be Carrie Kelly. Now, Carrie Kelly is the sidekick, I guess the Robin to Batman. And in the CW storyline, Carrie Kelly even mentions that Batman used to call her his little Robin. So at least in the storyline and in the comics, Carrie Kelly was working with Batman before he died to help fight crime in Gotham. So even though she is, at least in this story, a teenager, much like all the rest of them, she does have at least the maturity and experience of being a superhero and kind of maybe can lead all the other four in the right direction of, you know, banding together and being able to fight crime and solve this mystery of who really killed Batman. Another interesting character that we see in the trailer standing next to Turner Hayes right here is going to be Stephanie Brown. Now, it doesn't really give too many details on how actually involved Stephanie Brown is, but she's listed in the credits under the first episode. And if you didn't know, Stephanie Brown is the spoiler. And it is kind of interesting that she is, you know, in this mix. One, because her father, who was the Clue Master, was also an enemy of Batman, much like three of the other new knights. She's also also used to be a part of Birds of Prey, which is kind of cool. So I definitely would love to see how involved she is going to be in our new Gotham Knights. And if she does become spoiler, I think that would definitely be amazing. Quick rundown of the enemies, at least maybe suspected enemies. And first we got Harvey Dent. Now this is Harvey Dent as Harvey Dent well before he becomes Two-Face. Now I don't know, obviously, if he's going to become Two-Face face in the series or not, but at least by all appearances, Harvey Dent is going to be one of the ones probably involved in the killing and conspiracy to cover up and frame our Gotham Knights. Now, we do have a few factions of enemies in the WB series. The first one we're going to talk about is the mutants. Now, as far as the trailer goes, I didn't specifically see anywhere in which I knew were, you know, mutant enemies, but it does list mutant gang members in the credits of episode one. And kind of what's interesting with this is, is that the mutants really came about with Harvey Dent, or at least after, or after Harvey Dent comes back. And uh, this actual group of enemies is what inspired Carrie Kelly to become Robin. Now, the Court of Owls is also listed, or at least court members are also listed in the credits for the first episode. And this is pretty much the main faction of the Gotham Knights of video games. We have Catherine Kane. We got Jacob Kane. Now, it doesn't list in the TV series, it doesn't list any of them, so I'm not sure how many of the Court of Owls is going to come out in future episodes, but the Court of Owls is definitely there. Now, the only other faction or groups of enemies that are listed under the credits is what they call mob gang members. Now, this could mean definitely a wide variety of things, but being that Harvey Dent is in the TV show, it could be... Sal Maroney, now Boss Maroney, or it could be Carmine Falcone, or it could be neither of them, who really knows? 
but it does say at least in the credits there are some sort of mob gang members so i'm going to assume that that's some other sort of faction of enemies that possibly harvey dent could be involved with now there's not a crazy number of things that are exactly the same when it comes to the tv series and the video games but there are certainly some parallels obviously as we've seen in both the series and the game batman is dead jim gordon is also gone the gcpd does not try the new knights whatsoever now in the video game Raish al ghul and the league of shadows is who kills batman now who kills batman in the tv series i don't know harvey dent who seems to be maybe the main character maybe the main enemy in the tv series he is not in the video game but the court of owls is in the series and in the game so there are certainly similar enemies and kind of the similar plot now in the tv series the new knights have to fight for their innocence maybe even prove their innocence and kind of stay away from getting arrested they're being framed for batman's murder and they have to figure out who really killed batman while protecting the streets of gotham obviously in the game we know who kills batman and even though that the knights aren't really trusted by the gcpd renee montoya which is a detective from the gcpd does work with the knights and does help them out but uh we know who kills batman but they still you know kind of have to watch themselves through the streets of gotham while protecting the city but let me know in the comments what do you think about this new cw series coming up i kind of you know hope that it obviously is good i haven't seen every single cw series but i have seen some of them that i have really liked some of them that I didn't think were really worth watching. I'm kind of very hopeful for this one, especially being how much time I've spent playing the Gotham Knights video game. I'll be interested to see all the new characters that come out in this. But either way, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about all this stuff and are you excited? Are you not excited? Did you even know that this was coming out? But uh, anyways, hopefully everybody has a great Monday. I will see y'all next time. Y'all take it easy. We're out. Peace.